work continues on the water pump controller. So first of all, um, I did some testing over at my buddy's house with these 2.4 gigahertz transceivers and they they did not work between the two points that we need the controller and the water pump to be at. So um, unfortunately can't use them even though they're really nice and, and really nice to work with. And instead, uh, what I ordered was um, some of these um, RFM69C modules, and they are uh, a SPI bus um, that you communicate with them, which is just the same as these guys here. But rather than working at 2.4 gigahertz like these do, uh, this guy operates at 433 megahertz, and uh, this is the little antenna for it. And then rather than making a little uh, breakout board like I did for this one, because this was a lot of work to make this little breakout board, uh, I just put some wires on there and hooked them up to um, some pins, so a pin header, and I made it so that I could plug them right into the side here on the breadboard and, and hook it right up. And that was a lot easier to solder together. And these guys um, took them over to my buddy's house, and they worked just fine. They have a lot better range, and they don't they don't transfer data as quickly uh, as the the 2.4 gigahertz ones because those can these things can go up to like two megabits per second something like that. Um, this is a slower transfer rate, but I'm not sending a lot of data. I'm just sending you know a few few bytes, so uh, that's just fine. I need the the range rather than uh, the speed. So, anyways. Um, Got these hooked up and got a library working and got it hooked up to the controller here and it's uh, working really nicely. And I've, I've even updated the controller so I can um, can show you the software and what it does now. So I've got uh, this water pump menu here and if I go to the, the right I've got the contrast and you can just click in to change the contrast lower high. I'll go to the left here go back to the water pump and if I just click it on, uh, click it once, it'll turn it on, and click it off, click it again, and it will turn it off. And then it's going to turn it on for 15 minutes right now if I click and I hold and let go. So if I do a long click on this, it lets you edit this time that it's going to remain on. And so you can go um, in 15 minute increments and it goes in hour increments up to a day that goes to days and I made it so you can go up to seven days and then you just um, I'll put it back down at 15 minutes here it's kind of hard to do left-handed all right and then I'll just click to set it so now it's on 15 minutes and if I just click again it'll turn it on and then it shows how long it's going to be on and uh, over here, you can see um, that the red LED right here is on, and that represents the uh, solid state relay is turned on, so the water pump is turned on. And then I've got another LED right here, and this one's going to flash every time the controller asks for an update. So right when I, uh, the controller's asleep right now, you can see the power draw is 41 microamps still. Um, so it's asleep right now. If I click it to wake it up, uh, what it just did was it, it pinged this guy and asked it, how long is, how are you going to be on for? And I've got this little LED flashing one time whenever a request comes in for, to, to ask this guy the status, like how long it's going to remain. So that, that gives me a way to show um, this remaining time here. So it's actually, it got this remaining time from this guy. And so that this counts down smoothly, I've got a variable in here that I'm just um, updating each time I do that check. And right now I'm checking every five seconds, but I'll change that so it only checks it like once a minute. And so, like when you turn it on, it'll check it initially and get the remaining time, and then from here on, it'll just check it once a minute. I just got it for five seconds for the testing purposes. 
So it just flashes that once every five seconds asking how much time is remaining. And uh, yeah, it's working really good. And then if I, again, if I click it off, now it turned it off and it sent the signal over here to, to turn off that, the, that uh, red light. So if I click it here, so it turns it on and you can see it flashed a bunch of times there. That's what happens when you um, send a new state. So if you send over a packet that says, I want you to turn on, then I make it flash a few more times. I'll click it again to turn it off, and then it, it flashed a couple times to, to show that it's sending a new state. I'll click it again to turn it back on, and it's, uh, it's working really good. So on and off. So uh, yeah, it's looking really, really good. So when the sky is on, it's only consuming um, this kind of varies. Today it's showing about 7 milliamps. Sometimes it's like 7.5 milliamps. So, um, so anyways, yeah, it's only drawing like 7 milliamps when it's awake. And I went over to the Battery Life Calculator website again and put in my latest figures. I'll just show it quickly here. So I put in a uh, 750 milliamp battery because this is kind of the best bang for the buck and it's really small. This, this website that, I've, that I'm using to buy these things from, it's got a pretty good deal on this particular size. And I put in the, the figures here and, and running it, um, turning it on six times a day. Uh, this will make it run for 1.4 years. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's no big deal to have, uh, have this thing running on battery, especially a 750 milliamp battery. You can get by with a lot smaller one. And uh, so anyways, yeah, that's about it. It's, um, I'm going to set it before I go to bed here and, uh, and try to catch it so I can, I can watch this light go off on its own, make sure that part of the program is working okay. I'll set it for like seven hours here and see how it goes.